We're going to do some wet sticking. Welcome to the E and P show. Let's go home. Friday, nine thirty. Well, that's when we're supposed to start. Yeah, don't get the. That's when we're supposed to start. But you know, we got another snow day. We're here showing up. As the Prima Healthcare Services does, we show up every day. Cold rain or snow, Primo is on the go. We are here with the one and only <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to, uh, we're going to do some wet sticking. And you might be asking, what is wet sticking? Let me just get this out of here. <clears throat> wet sticking is when you apply the saline into the needle and into the, the, the tubing here, and it helps you identify where your needle is if it's placed right. So I figured it'd be a good idea to show you guys how to do that today. Steve Brett. Great. Great. Feeling well? When we check for swelling, always check on the bone. No swelling. No swelling. Go ahead and clean this. I'll show you what we're about to do today. Thank you for joining the e &T Show. Let's go home. We come to you live Friday. Every Friday. Grab a couple more alcohol passes. Just a few more. Okay, we got some normal saline flushes here that usually you would see me put in after we put the needle in. So today we're going to do a little different. We're going to take the cap off, we're going to put the syringe on there, this is saline that's in here, and I'm just going to push this in all the way until it comes out at the end. Right, so now I got saline filled syringe. This is going to help me when I do my needle stick. This is called a wet stick. Take the cap off. I'm going to flush the saline in. All the way out to the tip. My two syringes are ready to go now. I'm clean the access. Okay, we can bring the camera on up. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll put this needle in. You'll see this here, how the wet stick works. Once it hits the, the blind, it's going to go through the tubing. And you'll see it. I, get, I can identify it down then right away. It's an old school technique. It helps out when you stick it. We have a difficulty with an access. A lot of people ask us, "What do we do when you have a difficult access to stick?" Well, here's one. Of the, here's one of the tricks. So if you can see, Teresa, you want to bring that up over here, uh, or you want to bring it up over on this side. So if you, so you're going to see my flashback coming a little bit different. Sorry. Coming through here to my fingertips. If you, if you can do right in between here. Ready, here we go. You see? 
Yep, yeah, maybe you gotta bring out the name. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. See that there? Oh, sorry. Sorry. So what happened was there was no flashback on there. So I went ahead and pulled back just to double check on my my needle placement, which was there. Uh, but I just didn't have a, a good flashback on there. So that what this does, this helps by indicating a flashback is there. Now, it didn't work the way I wanted it to be, where it would show you. So we'll try with the next one, see if we can get it there. But the whole idea is that you'll get a flashback that trickles down a lot easier. So you see here, and I flush it. Eric, does it feel okay? Mm -hmm. So a couple of tricks you can do, like I said, is you put this in, and it should give you a, a, a uh, flashback. If it doesn't, you pull back on the syringe and you'll you'll see the flashback there. So here we go. So I'm right, I'm in there. So his doesn't give me the flashback when I do it when I do it this way. That's okay. So you see it's in there. I flushed it. But normally what would happen is you would get a flashback that comes in, the blood comes in, and it, it drips down into the saline. It helps you let you know that it's in there. So if some veins give you a flashback and some doesn't? Well, usually it does. I, you know, you got to remember though, it's flash. It's giving a flashback during that whole length of the needle, mm -hmm. which is about a one inch, right? One inch needle, and then you got this little piece right here, so it's like one and a half inches that you're getting that flashback in. If it doesn't, if it, you know, you you do that when you don't have a, a, a easy access to stick. And part of what you could do is you could just aspirate as that goes in. It also helps if your access clots right away. But that's called a wet stick. That's how you do a wet stick.